We're here with Matt from Elite Brake and Mechanical. Something a bit different is this wide body focus. Now, I heard you guys specialise in these, yeah? Yeah, so it's um, been a while. We've been looking after these sort of cars for probably about five, six years. Um, this is probably one of our more featured builds that we've done. Um, customer's name is Mervyn. Yep. Um, obviously, sort of speaks for itself with the wide body. Does have a full uh, built motor, so mountain sleeve block, uh, obviously forged rods, pistons, um, put uh, piper cams in it. It's also hooked up to water meth as well, coilovers, SSR wheels. So looks like you got some ETS gear on there. Yes, yeah, in a cooler. Big intake, intercooler. So all your standard, all your standard uh, like sort of bolt-ons intake in the cooler, dump pipe and what have you, full exhaust. What um, turbos on this then? Uh, so mountain do a MXR, yeah, um, which is their version of basically it's similar to a Garrett. Yeah. Makes it around 300. 300. So uh, you wheels. generally do these, uh, just run these in front wheel drive, don't you, on the dyno? Yes, so they have like, easiest way to explain it is like an adaptive sort of all-wheel drive system. They so don't really like have a conventional dependent. diff, do they, in the back? No, so it's all electronically controlled yeah. and it's all torque dependent. Yeah. Um, so on a roller like this, the dyno fights the car. Yeah. So you've got to run them up in four wheel drive. So we use the Cobb handsets, which has a dyno mode in it, which disengages the rear diff. Drivetrain loss is minimal because it still runs all the way through the transfer, all the way through to the diff, but it just doesn't then run out to the actual shaft. So, yeah. We've just finished this one, so finished the dyno on this on uh, Saturday last week. Okay. Yeah, that intake pipe's pretty, pretty large. Right, so there's an ETS intake kit on it, yeah. but it didn't quite fit up with the turbo, so we had to get that uh, Elijah who used to work down here actually done that for us. So put the Prometh injection kit on it. Spent some, you spent some good money. So on do it. you do just run this on 98? Uh, this is on a E30 blend with water meth. We're waiting on a bigger set of injectors to come for it. They're on back order, and we wanted to get it ready to get it back to him. So um, we're running E30 blend because it's uh, about 96% duty on the injectors. Mm. So when the bigger injectors come, we should get closer to 400, maybe 360, 380 somewhere around there and then it'll be able to go straight to a full E85. What, what can you get out of a, like a stock turbo on one of these? I've like, seen stock like sort of sort like of. 260, 280. Yeah, okay. But the motor is the limiting is factor. The limiting factor yeah, it? Ford actually released a bulletin saying that like the motor is on its limits oh, from factory, okay. so. I don't know, I saw some stuff on the internet, yeah. people were saying these were maybe having a, a, uh, someone lifting a head gasket, is it? Yeah, so there was a recall there for the head gasket, but the main thing that I've, I've found is they crack the block or they actually warp the cylinders um, most of them actually they're just... They're like an open deck. Yeah, so they're full open deck. Oh. So this is the first time we've used the mountain block at the sleeves and they've got like a brace in the top. Normally we use the ST block, so from the two litre, and then we put the 2.3 litre crank in, basically stroke that block and then and then do it. So it'll be interesting to see this. The mountain shop cars uh, in like in the world, it's the fourth fastest quarter mile time, which is like a 10.2, I think. So this is pretty much... Almost with once it gets to the injectors, it'll pretty much be identical to that. It's car. got everything, all the all the good gear on it. Yeah, and pretty much just click add the card on Mountune's website and send it to me. So. With winter just around the corner, what better time to get yourself some full boost merch? And we've got these great new sweatshirts in a bunch of different designs. So get to them at shop.fullboost.com.au.